much for today. We got Miss Burton. Cool. So tell me, what brings you to the library today? Because um, I do a lot of research and I study a lot of history and I'm studying it. Recently, that a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of war to people came clean got slain in a mob, and they still mourning. So when they were slain, they would teach their daughters you gotta when they when the Africans came over here, you got to mourn with the African men, right? So they still promote the breaking the truth, and they go back. And they break them. And they, they dominate them. Something they do with it in Africa. By saying that by breaking these queens, they go back to Africa. They do something. And they come back. These young men don't know their kings that actually that's standing on the corner. And mm -hmm. they kill them. And they become king. And so the village is calling out to the market and saying, We want our kings. But they're tired of it. They're tired of I'm not being well so, that's so you're actually a history lawyer. So you say you're trying to be a little bit. school. So you went to grad school already? I, I, I'm, well, I'm, I was finished up my degree in, no, I think I'm grad school. But I'm in school. And, 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 and we learned uh, a lot of stuff. Online or what brought you down to Baltimore? Huh? Online or what brought you down here? Because Towson, I like to explore the difference in my mind. A different knowledge of what's going on. That's why I have to learn because they know a lot of different stuff that I want to get connected to what I'm studying. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, when are you going back to Anne Arundel County? Um, Did you say you're in class? Monday. Um, Monday? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. say you just come down for the weekend? Yeah, just coming down, just my little hobby, go to the library, yes. and get some wine. Oh, that's cool because I actually live in Baltimore. I literally like, live down the street from me. Like, about 10, 15 minutes of Yeah. So, um, are you a football fan? Um, no. Actually, I'm in, not into it. No, I'm right. like a book person, so man. Oh, you like books and stuff? Yeah. Oh, cool. What's your favorite book? I like a lot of different books. I like the Bible, and that's one of my favorites. Because she's a girl. Like, she talks about being a single woman and being strong and independent. And still being a woman. What about Oprah? Do you like her book? I like Oprah. I haven't read her book yet. I, I was told it was good. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. But she is, uh, Oprah really is an mm -hmm. awesome woman. She's okay. She's nice. I'm going to say about Oprah nice. Because one day, I walked to Oprah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it was like all these girls wanted to <coughs> ask your money to take care of the kids. So they cook dinner. They open up restaurants. And they really didn't know what they were doing, but they were trying their best to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I went to Oprah, and I said, oh, yeah. can you help us? Yeah. And, said, and to the better. girls, they're trying to... Did she write you back? She gave me money. How much did she want? I don't want to tell you, but somebody stole it. <laughs> and I really want to... Uh, oh, that's sad. Yeah, man, because it's stole it, you know, and it's for... Women and, and the company stole it. Like I don't say a company, but like your business partner or something like that stole it. Kind of. Somebody stole it. Somebody in the bank stole it. And I always felt bad about it because Oprah really gave it to me, and I really was gonna invest in the girls that were trying to, you know, sell dinner out their home, make necklaces and snowballs and frozen cups. They said they can't kid and they stole it. So start with that. Yeah. So I've been trying to fight to get it back. Thank you. Well, if you ever see this Oprah, thank you very much for helping out this young lady. Thanks. If you ever see this in the future. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. So, tell me, you said you like Maya Angelou. What inspired you? Like, what do you like so much about her? Like, apart from her being like a single mother and all that, and a single lady and stuff. Oh, about her, I feel like, you know, because she, like, the way she went home is so nice, like, like, she talks about being a strong woman and being a 
one of them. And she can be international about it. Like, she, she don't say it. Like, say it and she talk about wow. She can be talking about a nice man uh, taking a little date. But she said world classy. Poor and all that. Right. She said world classy. And you be like, you think it's about ice cream and caramel over the top of that ice cream. The way she said it. But she really was talking about being with a man out in the day. So it's, it's like it's real big. And real big. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. So. How is um, Arundel County different from Baltimore County, would you say, Baltimore County? Um, um, well, I went to school in uh, Baltimore County. Did you grow up here, or did you grow up in uh, Baltimore County? I, well, I grew up in Baltimore County. I mean, you probably say Baltimore County because I went to school in I went to high school in Milford. Really? Milford? In Grand Rapids, from Milford. So, what year did you graduate? Cause 2010. Oh, never mind. You wouldn't have met me. Because I actually lived around there. I went to my older sibling went to Milford. Oh, okay. Yeah, I graduated in 2010. Well, 2010. Oh, damn. You might have met my sister, but I'm not going to put her name up there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I like Milford. Okay. Milford. The reason I like the Milford, because I was going to the city school, and it was like West and Valley. And I transferred to Milford because of the train. They had daycare. They had. Because um, when you went to all those. Yeah, they got nursing and stuff like that. They got. Um, like, you know, buildings, construction, mm -hmm. they got a lot of different stuff to offer. I mean, it's a lot of better to take up a trade in high school. Because when you're in college, you can have extra money if you got a trade. Yeah, that's true. Like, I went to Towson, mm -hmm. and it was okay my mm -hmm. first first two years. Mm -hmm. Then it went down to with the superintendent at that time. Mm -hmm. At the time I was in high school, mm -hmm. we zoned it. So the kids from the Alameda and... Mm -hmm. Up to time, started coming up there, and it was a it was a magnet school too. So kids from a little Baltimore County were coming up there, and it was just it just went downhill basically my junior and, and senior year. So it was like it turned ghetto, mm -hmm. and teachers started disrespecting the students, and the, yeah, it was like it just it just was terrible. I don't need to say nothing, but it was one, Towson is one of the best top schools in Maryland, so it was like the top twenty, mm -hmm. top thirty. So I'm. Um, but I'm glad I made it out before going we downhill. Oh. And it's still one of the best. You graduated? Yeah, I'm, I, I graduated from um, college last year, or 2023. What college? I mean, okay. Computer science. Oh. And I'm doing this, like, I started my own talk show this 2024, so I'm, like, in the trying to mm -hmm. make career out of the room people in my own talk show. So, tell me, <laughs> do you like Baltimore? I like Baltimore. I like Maryland. What's the fun about Baltimore? I'm just like I said, I, I like, I'm like a little bookie person. You said so, bookie? Yeah, I like to read books. Me too. And Baltimore is funny. And Maryland is funny. It's a lot of stuff that they have. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, especially for women. And they try to change like, women's rights. And they fall to the other cop city. They got the Underground Railroad. Oh, I don't know much about Baltimore. It's a lot. The Underground Railroad and East Yeah, I'm still young. I'm on like, at this time, I'm only like 24 at this time. Oh, yeah. this video, so I'm still like, okay. really, well, really young. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in my 30s, so. Oh. Um, Wait, that's, oh, yeah, that's true. Because my brother's graduated from Renaissance or I think 2013, so, yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. 30. 30. <laughs> that's good. Right here. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I got a lot of stuff for one minute. There's a lot to offer. Oh, it is. So, quick question do you dance or act or anything like that? Oh, um, I do. I used to teach for 10 years. You teach what? Little kids. Oh, you teach what? <laughs> what? What's the book? You say you teach. 10 years teaching. Dancing and what? Different subjects. You, you, were, you were a teacher for 10 years? And then you retired? Shh. Retired. Retired in 2014. Yeah. I think you graduated high school in 2013. 10. Oh, 10. And then I, oh. I didn't. I retired early because I had two. I got pregnant. And, and you got married and had like a whole kid. <laughs> right. The, right. Living the American dream with the little big house, three, right. three point five kids. Right. And exactly. dogs and big white fans and all that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I decided married? not to teach anymore. And like a show, and I think it's better than 
Protective and stuff. I had to use my first refund check from the university uh -huh. to get my own phone. And she got, like, when she got tired of me using the black phone or the office's phone or the strongest phone mm -hmm. to call them, call for rides and stuff, it was like, yeah. So I was like 18, 19 when I got my first phone. Which is, I just feel like, 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 I used to work on my own too. So it's like, I don't feel like being at work right now. I want to do on TV Hey, this Miss Clinton. You know, and still like showing faces and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. And, and I, like, you know, 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 like, like, in seventh grade, which Americans call seventh grade, mm -hmm. she cut off the cable. So from seventh grade all the way, still we don't have cable now. So, right. like, when I was like 12, 10, like, teenager. Mm -hmm. No cable, no TV, no nothing, no internet. I don't say no internet, but yeah, like none of that. So it's like, I don't say we lived like how in the olden days, even though we were amateur and like we lived, like lived. It was on the house phone, technically. We didn't have no house phone, so it was lazy. She had a cell phone and that was it, so it was like really. Right. Yeah. No. Well, Mr. Roger was. I like Mr. Roger for him. Because, you know, like, like, you have any children? No, I'm, I'm still oh. young. I'm not married. I don't even oh. have a girlfriend. I'm still oh, yeah, young. Right. But, like, some people, when they talk to their baby, they say, Google, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. You know, Mr. Roger, like, hey, little kid, put your shoes on, walk in your shirt. Right. You know, like, tie your shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, like, you know, like, that's how you do it. Like, you know, 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 like, and stuff like yeah, that. I was told about it. I was told it was a great show for children. Yeah. And Barney and all these Barney, other, all those yeah. shows that I kind of missed out on. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to miss. After a while, you don't miss it. So, my mom cut off cable in seventh grade. Oh. So, like, yeah. Oh. And I still don't have cable. Like, I still don't have cable. Like, after a while, you don't miss it. You go through it, withdraw effect, and yeah. Right. And then now it's just like, hey. Right. If I'm going to watch my watch on YouTube or Hulu or Netflix, and yeah. Well, make sure you watch Mr. Roger. Yeah, I guess I'll check it out. Is it on DVD? <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah, on show. On show. Yeah, on DVD. Can we get on DVD? You can like, look it up on YouTube. Oh, still that one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell me. Yeah, so tell me. Uh, you said that. So, have you read um A Girl Called Danger? A Girl, a girl Called Twister? Twister. No, A Girl Called Disaster or something like that. A Girl Named Disaster. It's a really good book. What is it about? About a girl, she goes through a lot, and she's a disaster. She's just a whole mess. Right. That's basically it in this little show. Uh, but nothing. I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing different projects and stuff, and I'm currently writing a movie script. So which is better? Which is a better way? Which is a tougher way to die? Which is a worse way to die? Dying by COVID or being stabbed to death? Which is worse? Which is Sorry. Which is worse? Dying by COVID or being stabbed to death? Like, I'm writing this movie, so I'm doing different projects at this time. Oh, okay. So, I'm like, I'm literally done. I'm just trying to finish up how the guy dies. Which is worse? Which, so, which do you think is worse? Um, um, well, I think we both are worse because they got, um, I look at COVID like the regular common COVID. All you gotta do is uh, get some hot soup and some coffee. Like, mm -hmm. So, which is worse? Yeah, so that. Uh, COVID is something that. Yes, they're not something that. I think it's worth it. Yeah, so, cause, so that's how the guy dies, right? Oh, what you think? Like, nah. 
Because in the store, it's basically this girl. It's basically, I wrote it on code for the girl. Like, on, when we were all on code or whatever. So the girl sneaks out the house. The girl's in lockdown with her roommates or whatever. She sneaks out the house. She gets code from her boyfriend, the guy she was seeing, whatever. And she dies. And then I'm trying to decide how the guy dies. Does, does her friend stab him to death trying to get revenge? Or does he also die by COVID or something like that? So I'm trying to decide how that would And she's covering up a murder. she actually in the... She died by COVID. The girl died by COVID. But then I'm trying to decide how should that should the guy also die too? Yes. By her friends. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to end it. So I'm trying to ask some people's opinion. Why would why would uh, why would her friends kill him? Because they want to give revenge for her dying, catching COVID from him. Oh, yeah, she caught COVID from him and. And they missed her so much, so they want to get revenge. So like, no, or should he, should he just die off? Um, or should he just go live his life and I don't know? Should he just walk away home? Cause I don't know. Like, I, I, I mean, I think that's hard to kill him because she caught COVID. I think that's because you'll kill you just cold. Yeah, every time I don't think that our friends should take it as it. Because COVID is they couldn't control it. Mm -hmm. And that was something that these people get sick. Okay. Right. So, so do you think chicken's okay? Yeah. You catch a cold with your chicken. I mean, they was cheating. It was like a whole, it was like a whole drama. They were cheating. It was doing all these other things. Like it's a whole thing. Like the movie's literally, the script is literally done. I just have to find actors or whatever and get the video camera. Okay. I already got, I already got everything ready. I just have to actually find. <laughs> At least four or five people to act in it and okay. the video camera up and ready and on location and setting and all that. Got me, got me. But yeah, like I got different projects. I don't cool these <laughs> yeah, like I'm literally doing different projects. Like I'm even creating my own video game mm -hmm. and stuff. So oh, I got, okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's appropriate for my friends. I mean, that's, that's like when a book's written. For their own actions. So do you think the guy should die because he caught a, another disease or something? He also died too or something? Like, I'm trying to figure out I think how do I end it? Like, I think that people should have responsibility for their own actions because they have things that are in line to help and protect them. So if you wasn't responsible, it's not your wife. Mm -hmm. It's not your husband. So, so that was like the sneaker or whatever. So, she was like the right. So if you decide to be with someone that's not really your husband's wife, that is something that you should be responsible So how do I end it? I'm trying to end up on a pile to move like <laughs> the movie goal was like, oh, you know, so I'm trying to end it. Like how do I end the movie? Like she did die. So to stay in the movie, I think that you should, I think it should be a assumption going on here. Like I think instead of saying everybody knows she died. Like she was so things. sick, she in the hospital, she got pills, and she had pills, she had drink, and she was sick, nobody was wrong, and her friends would assume that he did something to her. And sleep there and like that? And he didn't kill people or nothing, and the whole time it was just cold. And maybe someone from her family, and yeah, she got her home. And everybody like, looked sad because you just killed somebody for something that he did. I know she got like multi tests. That's what the test is. Oh, I got. That's cool. What does that stand for? What does? Mm -hmm. That's my daughter. Oh, how old is your daughter? She, she 18. Oh, she 18. Oh, she finished up high school. This year? Yeah. Is she in her third one year or bottom one? She was bottom one year. Yeah, and she's straight. Oh, I graduated from bottom one year. Yeah. She going to college? She in college right now. She took college courses while she was in high school. Oh, so what college? Morgan or like CCBC or something? Like that? Uh, oh, Bradley Community. Oh, yeah. Is she transfer? She think about transferring to Morgan State because Morgan State is like one of the best HBCUs in Baltimore. And um, I went to Morgan too. I don't know what college you're going to go to. I didn't know she was taking it. She's taking it. I told her to look up something. Engineering. Technology. What about the other tattoo? I know she got more. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, uh.
on your arm right here. On your shoulder. Oh, it's, it's all my shoulder. Oh, I was going to say, can I say? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So they stand for this? This star. Oh, I'm a star. I'm a star. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. <laughs> that's it. Ain't nothing. Well, thank you. Um, um, yeah, thank you for your time. So, last question. Well, uh, I'm just going to make this on the spot. Can you sing? Um, no, I cannot sing. Can you act? You said you were willing to act. Yeah. Okay, cool. So thank you. So I guess I need once I get everything settled, if I need, I'm just like you for the month or for the girl that dies of COVID or something. I don't know. Well, how you feel about that? Like you said earlier, you know that's nice or whatever. Oh. Yeah. That's the main, the main character, and I need people. So. Okay. I mean, I think I'm acting. I'm not the show. I got public land I mean, if you want to, I can show you the script later after. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Um, the girl died for everybody killing the man. Yeah, like, it's, and I'm actually publishing a book, too. I'm first, my plan was to actually get a little money, publish the book, get on rice, and then start making a video. You this what? No, it's based on, I don't say based on a true story, but not, not really. Like I mean, that. yeah, people were locked in during the COVID era, so a whole bunch of people were like locked in and stuff. So it, it could be based on a true story. We don't know yet. Oh, well, I'm not telling yet. So to oh. the movie come out, oh. which will be all right. The, by the way, it's going. It's going to be early 2025 or late 2025. Okay. I'm definitely not pushing back to 2026. But yeah, because I need to get this done. Okay. Like I wrote the movie script in 2019. Thank you very much, Miss. Okay. And if you wanted, um. To redo the video, if you need to edit it, oh, I'm going to do. I'm going to do.